In this video, we're going to be looking at a, another implementation of pre-order traversal, but this time in a non-recursive manner. So this is a recursive implementation. We're going to be looking at a non-recursive implementation. You see how it's recursive because it's calling itself within the same method. So before we do that, let's try to understand what exactly is it doing so that we could use that information in our non-recursive implementation. The first thing it does is basically visit the node that is being passed to it, root in this case we're calling it. And then it's calling pre-order traversal once more, but this time on the left subtree. And then it calls pre-order traversal again on the right subtree. Now there's something that basically jumps to, to the eye when you look at this. When you're calling pre-order traversal on the left subtree, we start a new execution of the function, a new problem. It's as if you're solving a new problem. And what happens to your previous information? How, how are you going to recover the right subtree once you're done with this call? Once you're done pre-order traversing the its entire subtree? This subtree is basically a tree of its own. You're, call, you're giving it a root node and then going on to its children, performing the same algorithm again. How are you going to recover the right subtree once you're done with that? Well, what it's basically doing here, before it performs this call, it's essentially storing its state in memory and it stores it in an implicit stack or the call stack if you will so it's storing the location of the right subtree among other things onto the stack and then when it once it finishes this it pops the state where it was and then it could carry on the execution so it could carry on from where it left off originally so there's this implicit stack and this is essentially the key to solving our problem we will be implementing an explicit stack we will have a stack data structure which will basically allow us to perform this same operation so uh, perform operations on the left subtree while we still remember what where the right subtree is so we could recall it later on so this is what we're going to do we're going to implement an explicit stack and use it in our non-recursive implementation so I'm going to assume that we already have this stack structure. It's a class, basically. And I'm just going to list the, the methods that we're going to be using without going into the details of their implementation. There is a video that we have about how to implement a stack. So we're going to need a public um, void. It doesn't return anything. Push, of course. A stack needs to push nodes. And we're going to be pushing nodes. And then it needs a public. And it, this one returns. So we need a pop operation. A stack has a push and pop, that's how it's defined. And we're also going to add one more function which is is empty. This basically helps us know if the stack is empty. There's also a constructor for the stack of course. So let's start implementing our non-recursive pre-order traversal. Now here it goes. The first thing we do, the signature, pre-order traversal, put nr for non-recursive and then we pass it the root node of the tree that we're going to traverse. The first thing we do is go, we're going to instantiate our stack. So call it, for example, stack, new stack, using the constructor. And then the next thing we do is we push. So I'm going to take the stack. I'm going to push my root onto the stack so we could process it immediately. Then we're going to have our while loop. This while loop is going to be representative of basically the recursion. Instead of recursion, we're going to have iteration right here. And we're going to go on so so long as the stack is not empty. So so long as stack is empty is false. So long as this is false, we're going to go on with processing all the elements within the tree. And what do we do? First, we push, oh sorry, pop we're going to pop whatever is onto the stack so we could visit it. So we will have a node n, and then we take our stack, we pop. Whatever comes out is the node we're processing right now. It's as if we're right here. So the first thing we need to do is take node.visit, so visit that node, and then you push its children onto the stack. If, of course, the children exist, if they're not null. If it's a leaf node, that's where we stop, so we're not going to push. So we have to ensure that they, in fact, exist. So you have to push them in the right order. You push first the right and then the left, so that you pull out the left first, so you can visit the left subtree and then the right. So while, uh, if the right is not null, we will be basically pushing right so stack dot push and dot right and if and dot left is not null you basically stack dot push and dot left so this is what we're doing right here we're pushing the right and left subtree and since we pushed left last and this is a leafo last in first out we're going to be popping out the left processing it and also doing the same thing to his children and this essentially solves our problem 